And the last definition, tattoo artist. The current proposed bill um, asks for establishment operators and managers to be licensed as tattoo artists. They are not. If well, some managers, I believe Mr. Mercer is a manager exactly. as well as an artist. Managers and establishment operators who are not trained to tattoo are not tattoo artists and should not be licensed as such. The current language of the proposed bill states that they should be licensed as a tattoo artist. Not making the definition that in order to be a tattoo artist you must have received the correct training in order to receive that license. The current language of the bill does not state that. Thank you. Well taken. Thank you all for your testimony. And I will follow up with you if I have any further questions. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ms. Alexander, I just wanted to add that I, I wouldn't be opposed to um, somewhere in the regulation stating that anybody who is selling any kind of tattooing supplies, whether it be a machine or inks or needles or anything, can only sell to other people that are legal and established. I, I'd be totally fine with that if you're trying to sort of control this, the supply side of it. As long as it's sold within the legitimate businesses, you know, put a limitation on it. That sounds fine. Uh, do any of your shops, do you sell any uh, merchandise out, out of the shop? We don't sell tattooing supplies or ink. Okay. And you, Mr. Rowe, no, or Mr. Mercer? Uh-uh. I do make tattoo machines, however, I do not sell them. Thank you. Never been sold. Thank you all for your testimony. Thank you. And next, I would like to call up, um, I see Mr. Michael Sendrum, you can come up. I've called you earlier. Is Mr. Mark Strasberg here? Mr. Strasberg? If not, Mr. Syndrome, um, you can provide your testimony, and then we will have our executive witnesses come up. Good afternoon, Madam afternoon. Chair. All those with the sound of my voice. Michael Syndrome, disabled veteran, served our country more than most. Ron Houghton sends his regards. There was the Republican Christmas party yesterday evening, and it was quite a festive gathering occasion. And uh, I recall one of your colleagues, Madam Chair, Harold Brazil, that had a tattoo at a, a tattoo parlor in Georgetown, I recall, where, as I understood, one of his associates was being uh, inked, and there was some kind of situation going on. I don't know how it turned out in court, but court, the uh, committee might want to take that under uh, advisement and uh, look at closely the protocol. Well, I'm, I'm thinking about folks, uh, you know, that are in the back room, maybe screaming, hollering, whatever the case may be. What what alerted Mr. Brazil to uh, uh, to be there and uh, to attempt entrance into the back room, be that as it may, my concern is about our youth, our young folk. You know, being being tatted is like an irreversible procedure process. Us older folks, and it's been said, adults can be nothing more than grown-up kids, but our youth may be making a decision that has repercussion years down the pike. And as you maybe you're aware, Madam Chair, I do some voluntary work, uh, Potomac Gardens and elsewhere, and I ask our youth, I say, the, the, your friends that you're trying to impress now, did you know them a year ago? And one year out, will they still be there five years? The point being is they won't. And to impress your friends, with uh, tats and body ink and piercings and so on. Again, need scrutiny for, for our, our young folk. Uh, possibly parental consent, certainly oversight, certainly acknowledgement. And um, as you have indicated, you did call. I just arrived. But this uh, broaches the, the medical field in terms of, of infection. Uh, and when an individual is to be tatted, are they given the risks involved, do they sign a waiver, you know, for liability. This can be very, very tricky. And, you know, bear in mind, too, your colleague has uh, introduced legislation uh, concerning over-the-counter birth control for our young folk, just a pharmaceutical, without a doctor. 
you know, and we're, we're talking about health issues, health, sanitation, and again, our young uh, youth, tender that, that may, may, may not be apprised of all the risks involved, the after effect, and later on, um, when they attempt employment, you know, it, it's been said, your prospective employer, you should cover up the body ink and the tats. You're laughing, Madam Chair. Do you have one? You're going to show it to us? Body, you are? Oh. But, you know, in all seriousness, th there are some ramifications here that, that need to be looked at across the board closely. And as I sat, you had indicated about lacking jurisdiction in uh, PG, print, plead guilty Prince George's County or MoCo, Montgomery County, or across the river, Alexandria. But the council does have, the courts have provided uh, long arm jurisdiction. So while, true, you don't hold court or session in Alexandria or Arlington or, or Rockville, but those that are transient, that advertise in the district, that uh, do mailings, that uh, have business, generate income, there is some uh, possibility of oversight. And, you know, point is, we have enough laws on the books. If they're not vigorously enforced, even in near, nearby jurisdiction, what use are they? You don't use it, you lose it. Okay? Are you with me, Madam Chair? Very good. Always good to see you. And, and I hope nothing uh, ill came to your colleague, uh, Mr. Brazil, there, as from the audience that said something about... Uh, Assault or whatever, but you know these things. These uh, super court, I think, is being referred to. Mm. But there, there, there may be that issue um, that when you are escorted by someone, you know, and they have concern and want to know what's going on. I suppose in each parlor, you know, they have their own set of rules and regulations, but. For an outsider to say, you know, I want to check on my friend or companion or associate or enemy or friend of me or whatever the case may be. So if there's some kind of uh, mechanism, you know, to accommodate that, instead of being star chambers, a kangaroo court type of session where nobody knows what's going on other than screaming and, af you know, after the fact, what you see is what you get type of deal. So I guess it's important, Mr. Syndrome, we mentioned the operators, the artists shouldn't be under the influence of alcohol or drugs, nor should the clients be under the influence as well. Thank you for your testimony, Mr. Syndrome. It's very important that our young people have parental consent or no one under the age of 18 is permitted um, to get a tattoo or body piercing. So I'm, I'm on point with that as well as you. And other than that, and personally, no, I do not have a tattoo, Mr. Sindro. And, and I'm not cursing. <laughs> but again, to our, our youth, Madam Chair, on a very serious note, you know, to impress upon our youth, this may be an, a, a life-altering endeavor, and it may have ramifications far out into the future in terms of employment, family, marriage, you know, you name it. And, and to read, for lack of a better word, the riot act to our youth, to let them know you know, what is involved in all this, that, that really run the popularity contest to influence your friend today, who may very well not be there tomorrow, you know, needs to be impressed. Thank you for your testimony, Mr. Thank you, Madam Cindy. Chair. I can always count on you. Have a good and godly day. You too. And next, I would like to call up our executive witnesses, um, Mr. Derek Davis. Mr. Davis is the chairperson of the District of Columbia Board of Barbary and Cosmetology, and Dr. Fisha Waldu, and Dr. Waldu would be submitting comments. Um, he is the Senior Deputy Director of Health Regulation and Licensing. And Mr. Davis, you may proceed. And if everyone could, I'm sorry, there are more people than I called up, so if everyone could introduce themselves on the panel for the record. Yes, I'm Clifford Cook's Program Manager for DCRA. Welcome. Thank you. Derek Davis, uh, Chair of the Board of Barber in Cosmetology for the District of Columbia. Welcome. Debbie Smith Steiner, who and is the Chair working on the uh, tattoo regulations under the Board of Barber and Cosmetology. Welcome. Sarah, the Senior Deputy Director for Health Regulation and Administration within the Department of Health. 